What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, X-Man and Co. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make one of our favorite dishes here in South Africa, called Poikikos. Stay tuned. What we have here is a selection of veggies, some patty pans, mushrooms, potatoes, onions to mention a few. Somewhere in the screen, I'll leave a list of all the ingredients. Guys, hang in there. Right at the end, I'm gonna tell you a very interesting fact about the cast iron poiki that some of you might not know. All of these veggies has been washed, so I suggest you do the same. Some more than others, you just work out what you need to do to get them clean. Let's cut them up. I like to brown the oxtail to just sear it and make sure all the juices stay inside before we put it in the poiki. This looks perfect now, nicely golden brown. Let's add the oil. I'm quite generous with the oil. This is a number eight poiki. What's important here is you want to warm up this poiki so we can put the onions in there. Braise the onions, then the meat, and then the rest of the veggies after that. So this traditional poiki that we're doing here today, oxtail, that was our choice today. It's a beef guts. You can do chicken, beef, pork. You can literally do biltong even, which is also very traditional for South Africa. What's important to remember is this poiki needs to simmer the whole time for about three hours. So it's slow. So some guys use charcoal, some guys use ga uh, gas. We use wood. Just feed it slowly. It needs to just sizzle softly. You hear that sound? We know that's perfect. So we're going to brown that nicely. Then we're going to add the meat, our oxtail. And thereafter, we're going to do layers. We try not to play too much with it. Right at the end, we are going to mix it. You need to hear that sizzling sound. You know you're on the right track. The best pairing wine for this dish, oxtail, is a Cabernet Sauvignon. When we use wine in the dish though, we don't use the expensive stuff because you're gonna lose the alcohol anyways. But it does give you a little bit of flavors. We've braised it for five minutes. So now we're gonna drop the temperature and add some wine. Right guys, it's been about hour 40. So I'm gonna add my potatoes, the veggies that's gonna take the longest. My corn. Carrots, there we go. So I'm gonna try to lay it like this. It's no real right way, some oaks mix it, some oaks don't. I'll say to you guys, hang around, and I'm gonna tell you a nice fact about these um, Cast iron pots, have a look here, if you look closely, one, two, three, four rings. So each pot's got rings and then also a number on top. So what that means, you multiply the amount of rings you have with the size pot you have, that'll tell you how many servings this pot can provide, if obviously all the way to the top ring. So if you would stop there, one times eight, gives you eight servings. One, two, three, four rings, 32 servings, if it's full up. Let's put our Brussels sprouts in there. There you go. Right guys, it's been two and a half hours. We're gonna add our last few vegetables. Baby marrows, mushrooms. 
So I think there's about 20 minutes left max. We're gonna let that simmer. We're gonna make a little bit of an oxtail soup, a, a powder with water. Mix that, throw it in there, give it another three minutes, and then enjoy this boiky. Right, let's get some rice here. You could have sump, you could have maize meal, whatever you decide to have. We like to have rice with our poiki. It's very traditional for South Africans. Some millis, we call them millis, corn, mushrooms. We love the veggies. Favorite part, obviously, is our oxtail. Look at that. Yes, a little bit of sauce, eh? Look at that. Most important part, obviously, is tasting this bad boy. Look at that. Look how soft that is, eh? Look there, I'm just pulling it apart. See that? Yeah? Mm, should we try this? There you go, boys. I think one of my subs, Marie, Casper Marie, this was your request. There you go. Cheers, buddy. Fantastic. Wow. This is amazing. Let me just watch this doggy of mine. <clears throat> Guys, this is really amazing. You know what? Look there. Just cutting through it softly. Obviously, you are allowed to put your vegetables in later if you want a little bit more, more crispy. That's entirely your own choice. Guys, if you like what you're doing here, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload new new video. Please, guys, comment below if there's any special requests. Let us know what you want to see so we can look at that. Thanks for watching. Cheers.